The night before our meeting with the British, our ceremonial fire burned bright. Little did I know that the outcome of this meeting would affect our children and our children's children for all the years to come. I am called Tayon de Nega among the Mohawk Nation, but I became known to the world as the great war chief, Joseph Brandt. That night, I sat with my clan brother and best friend, Loha Hiyo. We were joined by a powerful man, Sir William Johnson, the Indian agent for the British King George. Unlike other white men, Johnson treated our people with affection and respect and would be a great influence in my life. As we sat before the fire, Seth, our chief, once again told us the story of the peacemaker who long ago gave us the great law of peace which binds the Six Nations together. And Seth told us that if the Iroquois ever warred against each other, the great peace would be destroyed and we would be reduced to poverty and despair. That night, Loha Hiwa and I listened to the same words, but we heard in them different meanings. It would always be so. Are you all right? I, I think so. Well, they got past us. They're winning by two. You don't want to go back and tell everybody we lost to the Senecas. I saw him. Him? Who? It was the Peacemaker. The Peacemaker? I did! It was him! Mono sonido! I heard you. The Peacemaker. You must have hit your head on a rock. Let's go. The peacemaker said you'd come back someday when the Confederacy is in danger to save the people. Is the Confederacy in danger? I don't know. Maybe that's what this council's about. <laughs> <laughs> 